Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about how to improve the computer performance and speed as well as how to optimize your battery to last for long. Okay, so here I'm going to talk about five simple techniques which you can use while using the computer to make sure that your computer has enough speed for processing as well as your battery stays long or for a higher period. Okay. So the first step is that you go to the run command. You have to hold on the Windows key plus R. So you'll get the run command here. So in the run command, you have to type in sysbm.cpl. So once you type in, click on OK. So you'll get an option called system properties. In this, go to advanced. In the advanced section, we have an option called performance. Click on settings. Here, the default option which will be selected in your computer will be let Windows choose what best for the computer. So I want you to choose adjust for the best performance. So that means all the animations, all thumbnail previews, all those things will go off, but your computer or the laptop will gain more speed. Okay. So once you've done it, you click on apply and you click on okay. Okay. So once you've done it, uh, your performance of your computer will go really up by 5% to 10%. Okay. Again, like click on settings, go to advanced tab. So here you have an option called virtual memory. So in this virtual memory tab, you can click on change. So here the default option selected will be automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So instead you uncheck this option, you click on custom size, just mention whatever RAM size which is available. If it's 12 GB RAM or 8 GB RAM, you mentioned 8,000 8, as the minimum initial size, the maximum size as 16,000. Okay. Once you've done it, you click on set, click on okay. It will ask you to restart your computer. Okay. You click on okay, click on apply. Click on OK again, and you can click on OK. So it'll ask you to restart your computer. Now I'm not restarting. You can restart once this step is performed. Okay. Now for the time being, I'll click on restart later. Okay. So the second step which I'm gonna show you is regarding uh, a option called clean boot. Okay. So click on Windows R. Go to the run command. Click on MS Config. So once you click on MS Config, the system configuration option or window will open up. So the option which you will get is normal startup, diagnostic startup and selective startup. Okay. For the default selection in this, uh, that will be selected in each and every laptops will be normal startup. Okay. So instead of that, you click on selective startup. So click on uh, un uncheck this load startup items. Go to the services. Before making changes to the services, make sure that you hide all the Microsoft services because these services are actually required for our system to work properly. Okay. So apart from that, you just go through uh, your system. What things has been updated over here? If you have it, if you would like to uncheck any of the options, you can uncheck it. Startup options, open the task manager, you will be able to see like what all, what all things will start up automatically. So if you feel like you want to disable something, you can do it by your own, okay? Once you have done everything, you can click on apply and okay, okay? So once after that too, you, the system will ask you whether you want to restart the system or not, you can restart it. And once you're back onto the computer, here is the third step. Okay, this is this step is basically to remove the temporary files, the cookies, which will be loaded up in your system, which consumes more than 10 GB of data. Okay, so let me show you how to delete this. So you have to again go to run command, type in clean manager, which is clean MGR, click on okay. So it, it is called the disk cleanup. Okay, if you have basically operating system is installed in C, system, uh, I mean, C folder, then you can delete most of those things, okay? So here, as you can see that 8.82 uh, GB is residing in recycle bin, okay? Thumbnails, I have 108 MP. And likewise, I have a lot of 
files which corresponds to more than 10 GB. Like if I'm selecting every file over here, you can, it, it contributes nearly to 10 GB, right? So if you want to clean up this system, you can click on, click on clean up system files. So for the current uh, scenario, I'm not uh, deleting anything in the recycle bin because I may need those files back to my computer. So once you select all those categories, you can click on clean system files. So it will start cleaning up the system folder, which is C folder for me. For you guys, it will be like where in which folder the operating system is being installed. Okay, so click over everything which you don't need and you can clear up up to like it's showing 12.5 GBs of space, right? So this will also remove most of the temporary files, cookies, then unwanted files or unused files in your laptop to a greater extent. So that you will, you will gain more space in your uh, OS folder, that means operating system folder. So the computer will run much faster, okay? Okay, the next step is the power options. So if you're going to the run command, you can type on control. So it will take us to the control panel and where we have the option power options. So click on power options. So here it will be default. So if you want to create a power plan, you can click over here and you can name the plan. Suppose if I'm, I'm just naming it as sample plan. Click on next and you can choose this options. Like uh, if you want to turn off the display within two minutes or if you want to put the computer to sleep for four minutes or if you want to just turn the display on for 45 minutes if it's plugged in, then you can choose that option over here. Okay, so once you choose it, it will it will be according to you how to how how do you set the screen on and off options as well as whether the, whether you want the computer to move to sleep after a particular period of time. So likewise, you can select the power options over here accordingly what accordingly as per your need. Okay, so these are the few options which you can choose for removing unwanted junk files from your computer as well as uh, if you are avoiding uh, the options like uh, animated options, all those kind of options which I have showed you in the first method which is through system.cpl. If you want to remove that, the computer will be much faster. If your computer is still not fast enough, then you have to go to run command again, open CMD then you have to do a SFC scan now, okay? So this will take some time for us to uh, complete the scan. Once the scan is done, it will show uh, what is actually stopping uh, from your system which to, become, to become fast, okay? So it will show the reasons so we can fix it accordingly, okay? And you can also use third party tools like uh, CCleaner as well as other Windows uh, temporary file clearer. So a lot of applications are there. So you can use those applications and clear as much junk files from your computer, as well as you can use uh, certain antivirus softwares to remove the malware as well as virus from your computer so that your computer becomes so fast once all these malware and uh, all those kind of viruses are removed. Okay, so these are the few steps which you can do for making your computer faster and also for optimizing your battery life. So. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want to receive more notifications regarding this. Thank you so much. Have